Hi folks, this is Steve. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of 3878 Timber Green Court. This is a brand new 2720 square foot ranch with a full finish walk, I'm sorry, daylight lower level. Uh, sitting on about two acres here in Timber Green. Uh, just finished this house, the irrigation just went in, uh, the landscaping and the sod just went in. This is a maintenance free home uh, for folks that are kind of thinking of downsizing out of the McMansion and a very nice level of finish here. There is all uh, brick, stone, and hardy on this house, so there is no painting. Um, it sits across the street from a beautiful home, uh, the Woodland Model, which is right here, and that's the view out the front windows, which is a nice little fountain in a pond area. That's what your front uh, windows uh, are looking at out of this house. And right down the street here's another pond with a fountain and a gazebo and a little park area. Uh, Timber Green is a gated community. It uh, does have an electronic kiosk entry with a gate. Uh, requires a uh, security code or a, a clicker to get in. Driveway, 14 feet wide, then it widens out to 32 feet. Uh, concrete, um, we uh, make them a little extra big so that you don't have any trouble backing up and getting in and out of your three-car side-loaded garage. I'm going to give you a look at the exterior first, then we'll go inside. The landscape beds are double matted uh, with weed barrier. Then we put this lava rock down so you don't have any mulch to take care of. Very low maintenance here on the landscaping. And we do have the ability to have our landscapers take care of this for you as a upcharge to the association fees. Uh, the front porch is 8 feet wide at this point by about 22 feet long. We put these oversized uh, AZAC columns in here with this beautiful elliptical detail along the front elevation. All of that is also maintenance free. Front door is a Thermatru with uh, leaded glass side lights and up light uh, and then a cultured stone backdrop on this front porch. We do put four recessed lights in here also so you can actually use this porch for sitting and uh, socializing. I'm going to take you in the garage since that's how you'll normally be using the house. Garage door uh, probably 99% of the time and guests using the front door so we'll go in this way. Garage doors are co-play. Uh, they're insulated doors. We do have uh, uh, lights up at the top and uh, these are done in a cherry. Beautiful door, high R value. Garage floor is a uh, high smooth finish. This garage is 24 feet deep. It's 36 feet wide. Uh, we do have LiftMaster power operators on there, three surface mount lights. We do paint this like the interior of the house with two-tone paint, and I case out the windows with trim. This house has Windsor windows in it, and is framed in two by six. Okay, let's go inside. First thing is, want to do after a long car trip is probably hit the, hit the bath. Here's the half bath right here. Two steps out of the garage. Granite, uh, countertop, Marilot cabinets, uh, Moen fixtures, porcelain undermount sinks, and there's an alabaster shade with an oil rub bronze fixture. All the hardware in this house is oil rub bronze hinges, handles, hardware. Uh, then immediately to the left you have your laundry slash uh, mudroom. Granite top, large overmount laundry sink, uh, Marilot raised panel, white cabinets, upper and lower. Uh, tile floor, Roman Noche. Then a double closet right here with arch top doors. And a large hanging and upper shelf in there. Closet's about 7 feet wide, 24 inches deep. Here you've got a uh, bench where you can sit down and take your shoes off. Throw them underneath, maybe put some slippers on. There's coat hooks and a bead backboard there. 80 inch locker here for the vacuums and mops. And then a little hobby table, granite top. You can put a little stool under there. There's some drawers and cabinets above, and then a window for some natural light in this room. Washer dryer goes right here. That's your laundry mudroom. Let's go on into the kitchen. Floor, beautiful, beautiful hardwood floor. This is a variable sized floor, three and a half and two and a half inch. You'll find it to be absolutely amazing when you see it in person. Um, <clears throat> it is called a Cerso, uh, I'm sorry, this is called a black walnut black walnut and it's three quarter inch solid oak. Uh, we do not use any sort of uh, laminate floors or low cost floors. Okay, so kitchen, here you go. Um, Marilot cabinetry, uh, granite tops. We use also a tile backsplash in this kitchen. Um, <clears throat> there is quite a bit of under cabinet lighting also right there, as you can see as we go around, I'll turn it on for you. Um, on this wall, we have a warming drawer. This is all Frigidaire Gallery stuff, very nice stainless. 
Uh, we have a Frigidaire um, oven and then Frigidaire gallery, jumbo microwave, cabinets above. Here's your um, pantry. I did uh, put quite a bit of shelves in here. You have seven shelves and spacing is 16 inch so you can get blenders and so forth in there. Here's your uh, Frigidaire gallery fridge. It has ice in the door. Large freezer below, two cabinets above. To the right of that is your cooktop. This is a Whirlpool and again there is under counter lighting here with a tile backsplash. Um, this is your uh, pot filler which goes right over the top of your of your cooktop for your pastas and soups. Five burner gas. Hood is vented outside and this is all integrated into the cabinet package. So real good looking stuff. Um, we bump them up and down a little bit. There's some lazy Susans and pull outs and different things on these uh, cabinets. Over at the kitchen sink uh, you have a uh, 6040 undermount uh, stainless with a Moen oil rub bronze fixture here with a pull out casement Windsor window right there, a little valence crown molding above. Recessed lighting in here, there's two pendant lights here over the center island. Center island is done in a contrasting color that's called Kona. It's a beautiful combination. Let me see if I can give you both views here. Uh, we did make this so you can have three or four uh, little bar stools around here, pull them up and I put end panels, raised panel end panels on all of the cabinets as you can see there there and there. So that's a shot of your kitchen. Right here is where your dining room table would go. We have a nice uh, oil rub bronze fixture up above. You can put a six person uh, dining table right here. And then out here, out this French door is your covered lanai, kind of a covered porch where you can put another patio set right out here and sit outside and have your meals. I put a gas out there so you can have your gas grill right there. Yeah, and this is all, you know, kind of covered from the weather. You have four recessed can lights up there and a ceiling fan. This backyard is beautiful. It backs up to seven acres of woods off site. Um, we're going to seed all that back there and get that grass coming in for you and also seed that back there. But we sodded the immediate area around the house and irrigated that. Um, over on the right is your little well. This is so you have a daylight uh, lower level. That's done in a decorative retaining wall. And then you have your, your lava stone back there. Very private, nice, quiet back here. Here's your Hart, James Hardy siding. This is a 20-year factory finish on here. Here's your uh, Hardy corners. Um, and then anywhere we have any, any uh, wood, we wrap it in color-keyed aluminum and caulk it in all around everywhere so there is no painting and no maintenance on this house. It's one of your daylight windows to your lower level right there too. And I put a plug out here as well. Two plugs, one, one there and one here. There's your little lanai. Take you back inside now. Across from the dining room here, uh, is a little butler's pantry right there. Uh, you can put a little refrigerator under here, a little wine chiller if you like, goes fits in there real nice, or a little chair for a computer station. I put a glass cabinet up above it and crown molding up above. There's your surface mount uh, light coming in out of the garage. Here's the view kind of going around into the great room. Um, you have a large jumbo uh, window uh, looking out into the backyard. It's trimmed with a high detail mantle trim above the top of the window. Um, house is framed again in 2x6, high insulation, and Windsor windows. Windsor windows use the best glass, the E366 glass. It's a full-on aluminum extruded exterior on this that's powder coated at the factory on these windows. They never need anything. It's a lifetime window. You're going to be very happy with it. Uh, next to that is your fireplace. I did put a 42-inch heatilator uh, gas fireplace in here. I'll turn it on for you. And then uh, I put an oak mantle above the top of that and behind the picture is a cable and electric so you can put a big flat screen right on the mantle there if you like. And then the hearth here, you can actually sit on the hearth and uh, warm up during those Michigan winters. And I'll come back to that fireplace is running now if you can see it. Pretty cool. It's got a brick back and it's a high-end unit. Looking back at this way into your kitchen and dining area just before we move on, that's the view. Again, hardwood all through this first floor, so that's what you're looking at there. Here's the inside of your front porch. I did do a mantle trim over the top of that, as you can see. Also a mantle trim over the front window that matches the other uh, windows in the house. And then when you come in this front door, your closet, your coat closet is right around the corner there. But I'll, I'll show you this little study first right here. This is your library slash study area. Put chair rail and shadow box in here uh, and crown at the top, a little scribe molding. And then four recessed can lights are right in there. They're on a dimmer. It's a nice little space. I put flush mounted uh, 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 
register vents in here. We had these custom made to match the hardwood floor. Those are everywhere there's hardwood. I have those uh, built right into the floor for you. A lot of plugs in here, and I ran a, a cable and an internet and a phone line in here right there. So you have plenty of plugs. When you close those French doors, it is nice and quiet in here. Okay, so coming out of there, let's go right into the bedrooms. We arch the top up, going into the bedroom area, put the thermostat on the left here. Here's your coat closet for your guests coming in the front door right there. And we'll go in the master first. It's here on the left, very private. This carpet is 46 ounce Shaw over eight pound pad. It's a real high density carpet, very nice. It's the kind of stuff you'd want. Here's your two plugs for your, uh, your nightstands. Your bed would go here and kind of look that way and you have a nice view out the backyard here. I put a cable outlet over there so you can put a flat screen over there on the wall if you like. And then here's your three panel window bank right here on the left. This uh, master is about 15 by 17. Coming through into the closet, uh, bath area, you have a his and hers walk-in closets over here. Um, they're both configured similarly. Put two levels of hanging in here and then a higher one there. A shoe rack here kind of built in. I put a plug in the back in case you want it for cell phones and chargers and stuff. And then over here on this side, this is built out approximately the same way um, with your hanging two levels and then your kind of your shoe rack right there with a plug in the back. Uh, now we'll go into the master bath itself. This has a nice uh, Roman Noche tile floor and um, a nine foot vanity uh, with Merlot cabinets underneath, oil rub bronze fixtures, a white porcelain undermount sink that's set um, <clears throat> into that ferrous gold granite. That's a beautiful colored granite. Um, large custom mirror across the full length there as you can see. Then you have at the top, I put a just a high transom window so you get some natural light in here to for the ladies that like that for their makeup and stuff. Um, by the way, this entire tile floor in here, including the tile in the shower and that granite seat, is all electrically heated by this control panel right here. And now uh, you can program that to come on at whatever times you like. The shower itself is a very large uh, shower. It's about seven feet wide by about four and a half feet deep. And it does have two recess lights and a shower, a sunflower shower in the center, another shower head on the side. I have a couple of trays for your shampoos and soaps and stuff, some decorative tile in here. And over here, I put an oil rub bronze uh, high-end Moen handheld fixture with an individual control there. So the ladies can sit here on that warm heated bench and uh, shave the legs and different things like that. Um, over on the far side of this, I put a private toilet area with a door, so it's give it just separate area right there. And I put a window in there as well. So there's your master. I'll show you the two bedrooms real quick, and then we'll go down and show you this finished lower level in this house. Uh, these, uh, at the end of the hall, put another linen closet so you have, uh, you know, room for blankets and stuff and sheets and whatnot right there. Then over here you have two bedrooms, bedroom one and two. Uh, they're about 12 by 13, and um, they both have window views out the front. Uh, cable on that side, so if the bed was here, they could put a flat screen on that wall. I pre-wired it. Walk-in walk -in closets in these, we uh, build them out again with shelves. And uh, we build them with the hanging locker or the hanging rods and so forth right there. Better number two is pretty much configured the same way. Um, a little larger. This one's about 13 by 13. And wired up pretty much the same way. There's your walk-in closet over here. And uh, your shoe rack and such right there. So pretty much the same. Um, okay, so there's your... Bedrooms, I think I uh, didn't catch the bath here. Here's the bath. This um, bath is set up so two people can be getting ready at the same time and have some privacy. I put a door between the vanity area and the toilet and shower tub area. The vanity is a double porcelain undermount with a gold ferrous granite countertop, Merlot cabinets over bronze fixtures, full size mirror in here. In the shower area, I put a full size tub and then I did a complete tile backsplash in here. Uh, with two uh, little little shelves for your shampoo and stuff there. A little rub bronze here. There's your mowing control right there. And then around the corner is I tuck the toilet back in here next to the window right there. So you, with this door, you can close this door and somebody can be in there showering while, while somebody can be over here uh, using the vanities and they have a reasonable degree of privacy there if two people are using it at the same time. Um, okay, so let's run downstairs. Um, I trim all the uh, stairwells with this oak uh, trim. 
and handrail. The newel post is anchored right into the framing, so it's very solid. Um, and then I use a lot of oak skirting on the stairway. Um, these expanded pewter uh, metal uh, balusters. And I put oak uh, tread extenders on here so you get this waterfall effect. It's kind of interesting for the steps. Put a little oak shelf right there uh, at the landing. The landing's halfway down. And then here's the other half of the stair. Again, same kind of treatment with an oak handrail. We hit the lower level. We changed to Berber carpet. This is, uh, this is Berber carpet over 8-pound pads, so it's a very uh, high-quality floor, very warm. You don't feel any coldness in here. There's your second thermostat. This is a two-zone heating system in this house. Here's a little closet underneath the steps right there. And your lower level right here. I'll try to give you a little view of this. Um, the uh, lower level down here is built out to have a, a pretty high level of finish. Here we go, lights on for you. There we go. Um, I put chair rail and shadow box on it, crown molding up above. Um, we, we detailed out these windows to match the Marillac cabinetry and we put a pub style bar in here. Um, I did this with uh, the uh, new, new gold uh, granite. Um, we put a wine rack there over the uh, sink. I put the pendant lights in to match on oil rub bronze and then we finished all of this wood detail in custom wood and then we matched it over here and tied it in with the column over there. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a pub look. Um, I put an outlet up here so that the people sitting around the bar can see a big flat screen on the wall if you like. And there's a full-size fridge in there. Uh, quite a bit of cabinet space available in here. And a little step-up bar right there with plugs in the back for blenders and things. Then right here is a good place to put a card table and chairs. This floor is a, uh, actually a ceramic tile. Looks like wood, but it's actually a ceramic tile floor. Um, very popular floor. It's called Surso glazed porcelain tile. It's black walnut. There's the rest of this. This is about 25 feet wide right here by about, I want to say it's about 40 feet long, 35 to 40 feet long down in this area. I put a cable outlet for a big flat screen on that wall also. And then down here at this end I put another cable outlet if you want to put a big flat screen on that wall. So you have your choice of where you want to locate your theater type area. Put uh, high daylight windows up here. Here's a view looking back at this lower level. Right there. So, uh, also up here for home theater, that's pre-wired for you right there if you want to do a home theater. A projector unit at the top. Um, we'll show you the fourth bedroom now and uh, the uh, full bath and then I'll show you the superior wall system which is amazing. Here's your fourth bedroom. It's about 12 and a half feet wide by about 16 feet long. There is an egress window with a window well right there at the end and a double closet with arch top doors there. All the doors in this house are solid core doors. Uh, heavy solid core doors. And uh, the bath is right here. This is a just a standard 5x9 bath. has a tile floor, granite top, Marilot cabinets again. And then you have a one-piece fiberglass shower there on the end and your toilet. Just a kind of a standard full bath. Uh, mechanicals are in here. This is uh, your two-zone heating system. Just wanted to point this out. This house is hard ducted with two separate zones. There's one here, one here. They're both electronically controlled by the thermostats. Um, we use an April Air humidification system in the house so that the trim stays happy. And this is a Mana Distinctions uh, furnace, high efficiency furnace right there in air conditioning. That's a control unit right there for your two zone heating and your humidistat right here for your April Air. Next to that I have your uh, 50 gallon high efficiency hot water heater right there. I do put a uh, sump pit in uh, which takes care of your foundation drain and I pre-plumb it with a radon recovery system in case that's ever needed as well. It's pre-plumbed for that if you do need it. Um, this is a superior wall system basement. Uh, this foundation is high strength, pre-engineered, pre-insulated and um, it's just an amazing system. It's a nine foot wall, uh, doesn't leak, has, has about a 10,000 psi breaking strength on average. It's very strong and I set it on a bed of limestone for the footing. It's a 48 inch limestone footing in the footing we put our foundation drain, we backfill our homes with two feet of class two sand around the exterior so we make it pretty much impossible for water to ever come into your lower level and it's very dry and very stable environment. Uh, last room will be your little workshop which is right here on the left. Uh, workshop slash storeroom. This is about uh, 16 feet wide and it's about uh, 20 or so feet long. Again, that's your superior wall. That's R12.5 right from the factory, which is 30% higher than any, any Energy Star requires, so it's extremely energy efficient. 
Uh, there's your electrical system. You do have a 200 amp panel in here, and we do um, uh, pre-wire this for um, a sub-panel if you do want a sub-panel on it. There's your home run for your cable right there, and that's uh, your panel for your uh, water treatment system. There's a look around this little storeroom, and here's the really cool little cellar. This is also known as a safe room. It's under the front porch. We get it because we use superior walls. This is a steel deck, four inches of concrete above, and I, then I insulate it. Your porch is above that, front porch. Underneath here, which would normally be backfilled with sand, you get this awesome space. It's all concrete all the way around on four sides, very safe, secure room. Some people put a door on here with a digital keypad to make this a vault. Some people actually use that area for a vault. So it's just kind of a bonus space that you get when you use uh, superior wall systems. The flooring, or uh, the, uh, the deck on the house is done with engineered TGIs. These are high strength, non-deflective TGI eye joists. Very strong, very secure. They don't flex, they don't move. On top of that, we use a upgraded OSB subfloor, which is called Advantech. That makes it, it, they make it waterproof. So during construction, if you do get rain before your roof is on, it doesn't get absorbed into your subfloor and create all kinds of squeaks and problems down the road for you. The Advantech resists or is just about a waterproof floor. A little upgrade, but uh, well worth it. Well, that's it. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, please call Steve if you have any questions, and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for taking the time to go through this tour with me.